Thank God it's Friday. Hey, welcome to another episode of This Day in History on Flip TV. I am Angela Omolara. Our focus for today is going to be on March 15th, way back in history. On March 15th, 1965, President Lyndon Johnson addresses a joint session of Congress to urge the passage of legislation guaranteeing voting rights for all. Using the phrase, we shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome. Using that phrase, we shall overcome, borrowed from African-American leaders struggling for equal rights, Johnson declared that every American citizen must have an equal right to vote. Johnson reminds the nation that the 15th Amendment, which was passed after the Civil War, gave all citizens the right to vote regardless of race or color. But state has defied the Constitution and erected barriers. Discrimination has taken the form of literacy during... Um, during um, um, a taken form of literacy, knowledge, or character test administered solely to African Americans to keep them from registering to vote. All this boils down to racism, if you know what I mean, if you read in between the line. Moving on, since seven, Electoral Commission barred former Vice President Atiku Abubakar from crucial election, omitting his name from the rooster of two dozen approved candidates. Way back in history, in Nigeria. Now let's talk about the National Day being celebrated today. The first National Day being observed today is the International Redefining Wealth Day. These days I'm beginning to feel like money is an illusion. Yes, I really don't know. You may not agree to that except your eyes is open to that money is actually an illusion. Yes, but nonetheless, today is said to be International Redefining Wealth Day. And it is celebrated on March 15th. Did they ask people to question what wealth means? Should your existence revolve around having money or having well-being? And is it possible for you to earn more out of life without amassing material wealth? It's about achieving your life purpose, finding fulfillment in the little things, and chasing goals instead of money. I said it. Money is an illusion. Um, you think, you know, if I have this particular amount coming into my account, I'll be just fine. Then when you have that amount coming into your account, you realize you even want more. Now, when you get the more, you're thinking, oh, if, if I could have just a little more, then I'll be just fine. Then you have a little more and then you realize you want more. So more money, the more you keep wanting more. OK, it's an illusion. It's a mirage. Okay, I read on. A fresh take on your relationship on your relationship with money start with acknowledging that there is more to life than material possession. Now looking at things from the perspective of opportunity and abundance is more rewarding. This day was introduced by Patrice Washington, who is the award winning author of Redefine Wealth for Yourself and the host of the Redefining Wealth podcast. Washington has appeared on shows like Dr. Oz, the Steve Harvey show, and he he has cre- also acted as a financial advisor to Steve Harvey's radio and television show in, since 2014, and featured in several publications such as Essence Magazine, New York Post, and Cosmopolitan. Now, through a teaching on the sixth pillar of wealth, feet people people, faith, space, work, and money, Washington shows women and men that leading a disciplined but satisfying life is better than becoming hostage of pursuing money. Just what I was thinking. As an accomplished personal finance expert and transformational speaker, Washington's work has impacted the lives of millions, giving them the tools to prosper in their career, homes, and personal finances. Now, Washington's unique philosophy set her apart from so many other financial gurus, and she freely admits to this, making her an outliner within our profession. Washington has indicated that the day is a call to those more interested in finding their life purpose and gaining wisdom for living and fulfilling life. It is the reason she conceptualized Redefining World Day so as to help like-minded people to develop individual goals and vision rather than forcing themselves to live a life of deprivation to become rich. This way, people can become the best version of themselves and focus on relationships 
relationship that matters. International Redefining World Day is about setting up your life to support yourself and believing in something greater than material success while attracting the prosperity you desire and living your life's purpose. Now, also today is said to be a national shoe world Shoe the World Day. You may wonder what that is all about. I'll break it down. Each year, National Shoe the World Shoe the word day, National Shoe the Word Day, I'm sorry, is um, on celebrated on March 15th. It shines a light on the value of good footwear for millions of people around the world. I hope you know that. Not everybody has the privilege to wear a shoe. Now, each day, over 500 million children, teen and adults do not have a pair of shoes to wear. Despite the terrain and the climate, they walk barefoot everywhere. They daily struggle. Their daily struggle is one we cannot begin to imagine now living daily without protection on your feet can lead to a lifetime of problems including pain injury cuts sore infection parasites so school and businesses ban students and customers without shoes so we attach stigma to people who do not have proper food well too that's that's crazy now life without footwear also affects their health education financial well-being one issue leads to another creating a never-ending cycle now, Donald Zemonadi the, and the United Indigenous People in the Fontana, California inspired National Shoe the World Day in March of 2014. The registrar at National Day Calendar declared the observance to be March 15th annually. Now, how do we observe National Shoe the World Day? Start a shoe drive at work. Or in your community you can volunteer there are nine distribution center in the united states if you're in the united states you can be a volunteer you know you can also volunteer in your own community to help those who need food well locally you can also create a fundraiser and also you can visit souls for souls to donate shoes souls for souls is spelled as s-o-l-e-s number four the number four s-o-l-e-s then four not in spelling the 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 digit s o l e s four s o u l s so the four should be in number okay you can visit souls for souls to donate shoes okay to donate to those who are less privileged and um, reach out to them so they can have shoes to wear Birthday shout out to everyone born on this day in history. Happy, happy birthday from the stable of Flip TV. We send you loads, loads and loads of love and we wish you happy birthday. Do have a wonderful new year. Like I would always say to myself at the beginning of another year, I tell myself happy new year and make sure you set your goal right and not just chasing after money, which I begin to i'm beginning to perceive as illusion rather seek how to live a more purposeful and fulfilling and fulfilling life see you tomorrow in another episode of the program this day in history bye